Hello. Um, welcome to the AI and machine learning on the edge track. We'll be in this huge room uh, until 5, 10 p.m. this afternoon. I'm not intimidated at all. <laughs> uh, my name is Alice Cook. I'm the head of machine learning research at Sonos, a consumer electronics company building smart speaker. And I will be the, uh, I, I am the track organizer and I will be the, the chair for this session. Um, and before we jump to a very quick introduction, uh, I would like to thank the main organizers of the Applied Machine Learning Days, especially Martin Yagi, um, Pauline Borg, and Sylvain Bernard, who have been extremely helpful over the past couple of months. So, yeah, why is machine learning on the edge an interesting topic at all? Uh, some sources say that uh, there will be as many as 75 billion connected devices by 2025, each of them recording, processing, and collecting data on the edge. And the edge being this uh, uh, umbrella term for anything that is away from a central cloud server, closer to end users in the physical world. And this is made possible by the recent advances in hardware technology with system on chip, systems on chip always uh, more efficient and less expensive, and as well as uh, many interesting developments around neural processing units, those processors optimized for deep learning algorithm computation. Um, the edge impacts three dimensions, uh, each with profound implications. The first one, privacy. Um, in the context of IoT, sensors are deployed closer to end users up into their homes, and that poses a lot of uh, privacy concerns, especially when dealing with biometric data, such as people's faces, uh, fingerprints, or voices. Also, reliability. Uh, we need robust technology with reliable connection in hard-to-reach environments. Um, we cannot allow our entire system to fail because of a central cloud outage. And uh, last, latency. Uh, more and more applications require real-time processing uh, and cannot wait for a round trip to the cloud. So in this track this afternoon, we'll uh, try to answer three different questions. The first one, how to run deep neural networks on smaller but smarter processing units. The second question is what optimizations for bringing to, to bring uh, machine learning inference to the edge? And the last session will be around uh, edge intelligence and how we can benefit from this fully decentralized setting. And these three questions will define three consecutive tracks, subtracks in this afternoon's track. Uh, the first one around hardware accelerated artificial intelligence with two presentations. The first one by Frédéric Petro, professor at Grenoble INP and CIMAG. Uh, then a presentation of a joint work by Abdel Younes and Graf Aurora, uh, respectively tech lead and vice president at Synaptics. Then the second session, we'll have three presentations. Um, the first one by Andre Ignatov, PhD students in the Computer Vision Lab at ETH Zurich. Then a presentation by Francesco Cotagirone, a senior manager in machine learning at Sonos, and a disclaimer, also uh, one of my colleagues. And uh, then a presentation by Brandon Regan, a research scientist at Facebook AI Research. And the last part of this uh, afternoon's track will be around edge intelligence with, again, three presentations, one by Anastasia Koloskova, a PhD student here at EPFL, uh, Aurélien Bellet, um, a, research, a tenured researcher at INRIA, and last but not least, a presentation by Camille Marini, a vice, president of, vice President of Engineering at Okin. And uh, we will start the first presentation right now by uh, Frédéric Petro, who is a professor at Grenoble INP and CIMAG, and also a deputy director of this institution. He holds a PhD in computer science from the University Pierre and Marie Curie in Paris, and is the de deputy director of the TIMA lab and heads the system level synthesis group. Uh, is, he focuses on uh, general purpose computing and hardware acceleration, and his presentation will be a survey 
on the recent efforts to implement uh, neural network architecture on uh, dedicated hardware devices.